William Hutchison, Armenia, Columbia Realty for Expats and Salento, Columbia Realty. I just want to get a video out today. It's probably going to be a bit of a rambling uh, video because it's off the cuff. I don't do my videos on scripts anyway. I feel as though uh, a conversation style probably works better for you. You can shut me down whenever you want. But today I just want to talk to you about considering Colombia as a place to live. It came to mind this morning when I was reading an article on Yahoo about what a financial expert is predicting that's going to come uh, to my fellow Canadians probably over the next few years with government spending. Uh, the, he's forecasting the Canadian dollar weakening. Um, it's just uh, a situation that it seems to be out of control uh, now, having said this fellow's an expert, uh, my experience the last few years with the predictions of the Colombian peso, you'd be uh, just as well to throw darts at a dartboard because uh, they were so far off that uh, it's almost hilarious. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm not going to get into the regular pricing, comparing them, uh, just in general terms. Uh, I looked at some flyers this morning from a couple of the big grocery stores. Uh, as an example, meat here is about a third of the price there. Vegetables are and fruit are next to nothing. In some cases there you're paying four and five times what I'm paying. As an example of, of uh, a couple of examples really, I couldn't find the milk price, but I suspect that it's at least a couple dollars a liter and I pay uh, 80 cents for uh, 900 milliliters, which isn't quite a liter. So if you take that over a quart, it's probably, uh, or over a liter, uh, here I am showing my age uh, saying quart, but uh, a liter would probably be about 90 cents. Uh, the, the one example I use a lot is eggs. I was talking to a fella in the United States, uh, lives in Seattle, I believe, uh, maybe last week, and uh, I think he said he paid 520 US for a dozen eggs. I was talking to a Canadian on Friday, and they paid 729 for a dozen eggs. I buy a tray of 30 for 350, and uh, they're fresh. I swear that some of them are still warm because they were laid yesterday. We have a fella here in uh, the city, uh, in the north end here where I live. He has a cart welded to a bicycle and he comes around with 30 or 40 trays of eggs and sells them every day. When I need them, I speak to security and security gives me a call when the fellow's uh, on the street. I go out, I get my eggs and I pay him. 350 is what I'm paying right now for and they're brown eggs. Um, I forgot, I didn't forget, but the frequency of white eggs here is so uh, little that uh, almost all the eggs you buy are going to be brown. So what I'm saying to you people is have a look at Colombia. It's uh, a beautiful life. Uh, the climate here in Armenia, for example, is 80 every day, 60 every night, 365 days within a degree or two. If you want heat and humidity, you go to the coast. You can go to Santa Marta, you can have the sea and the beach. The beautiful beaches along uh, Santa Marta, Berenquilla, over to Cartagena. There's some uh, islands offshore there that are uh, beautiful islands. San Andres, Providencia, uh, just, uh, you know, that climate. You can have that climate if you want it. If you want it cooler, you go to a place like Manizales, where it's in the low 70s. Even close to here in Armenia, there's a little town uh, recently voted the safest a little town in Colombia. It's called Salento. You can Google it. Google Finlandia. That's not Finlandia, it's Finlandia. Uh, Google can buy a Montenegro. All little towns around Armenia within a 20 minute drive, 25 minute drive. Salento and Finlandia are, are a little further, but uh, you can tailor your climate here. Uh, close to Armenia, city of 320,000 or so, uh, top-notch medical facilities, dental, um, 
it's just a, a, a wonderful place to live. Cost of living, um, last year for the two of us, eating well, uh, living in a four bedroom, three bath townhouse of about 1500 square feet, it averaged $802 a month. That, that was rent, services and food. So uh, have a look at it. Uh, I get a lot of calls of people struggling. Uh, this is uh, as safe as anywhere in the world right now. If you think Colombia is not safe, you're living in, uh, in the past of about 30 or 40 years ago at Pablo Escobar. All you need to do is use a little common sense. If you wouldn't go downtown at uh, midnight uh, in your hometown to a disco, then you're not going to do it here. And if you do, you're going to have a problem. So uh, just uh, put that in your, in your mind. I'm going to attach the link to the Yahoo article that I read. If there's anything I can help you out with, get a hold of me, please. I see some uh, sites here where they're charging for a one hour consultation and so on. I mean, ridiculous. Uh, all of the information is free, especially if you wanna do the research. And if you wanna get into uh, something in depth as far as Armenia is concerned, I've been here 14 years, just give me a call. It's free. It doesn't cost you a cent. Don't go paying for these consultations and people that wanna charge you for information. It just, uh, it's crazy. Anyway, that's it for today. William Hutchison, Armenia, Columbia Realty for Expats and Salento, Columbia Realty. Own them both with my wife, Alba. Have a great day. I live in paradise and you can too.